IPDR or Internet Protocol Detail Record is a term used to describe a digital log that network devices create to record information regarding communication over the Internet. These logs typically include information on the origin and destination of data, the time of the event, the amount of data delivered, and the ports that were used. IPDRs are used by organizations such as Internet Service Providers, network administrators and phone companies for tasks like determining the appropriate pricing for internet usage, monitoring network health, analyzing data flow, and ensuring network security against malicious attacks. For the purpose of comprehending and monitoring network traffic, IPDRs are crucial. They support us in identifying patterns and trends in internet usage, identifying any unusual or suspicious activity, and ensuring that all users are abiding by the site's terms of service. Consider them as large data sets that we can explore to learn more about the network's operations. We can improve the network's performance, dependability, and security by analyzing this data. Internet service providers use IPDR data for a variety of purposes in the real world. They utilize it to manage quality of service, monitor network performance, appropriately build customers and ensure they are abiding by all legal requirements. For internet service providers to ensure compliance with legal requirements, run their networks efficiently and give their customers excellent service. These records are like indispensable tools. IPDR records are essential for billing since they provide ISPs with a comprehensive view of the customer's online activity. ISPs can ensure that the customers are charged fairly for the usage by closely monitoring things like the amount of data a user uses, how long they spend online and what they do, such as browse or stream. This makes it possible to guarantee that everyone pays fairly for the internet service they use, which benefits both users and ISPs. IPDR data is used by ISPs to closely monitor current events occurring on their networks. They can rapidly detect any unusual or strange behavior by closely observing how people use the internet. This aids in their ability to prevent major issues before they arise, such as cyber attacks like DOS attacks and harmful software virus. Additionally, ISPs can study this data and make minor tweaks to the network's operation to ensure optimal performance. IPDR records serves as an ISP's report card, allowing them to access how well they are meeting consumer needs. ISPs can determine where they need to make improvements by examining factors like the speed of the internet connection, the amount of data used, and the connection remains steady. This contributes to ensuring that all users always have a dependable internet experience, which is crucial for maintaining consumer satisfaction. IPDR data is typically required by the law to be retained by ISPs for a specific period of time and upon request to be provided to law enforcement or government regulators. When they are looking into things like cyber crimes, illicit activity online, or whether someone is violating the terms of service, this data is crucial proof. It's similar to having a digital trail of events that may be used to identify offenders and ensure that everyone is abiding by the rules. It can become more difficult to figure out what people are doing online when they employ techniques like IP rotators, IP spoofing, or VPNs to mask their IP addresses. It's not impossible, though, even if they are attempting to hide, there are still techniques to monitor their online activities. Together, let's examine a few of these techniques. Identifiable data may remain on the endpoint device even if VPNs or IP rotators mask the IP address. Cookies, browser fingerprints, or login information might still be present and provide identification hints. Let's examine in more detail how the user's online activity can still be uncovered by this leftover information.
websites, online service logs, user activity on their servers or addition to IP address analysis. Important data like user accounts, session tokens, and device IDs may still be present in these server logs even if the IP address of the user is hidden. Let's examine why these server logs are so crucial to understanding user behavior, especially when users are attempting to conceal their IP addresses. There are ways to decipher encrypted traffic even when it appears to be quite safe when using VPNs or IP rotators. Techniques for traffic analysis can be beneficial. Analysts can infer what users are doing by examining variables like the amount and timing of data sent. Join us as we investigate how these little clues, especially in the case of encrypted internet traffic, can provide light on people's activities. VPN providers occasionally collaborate with law enforcement to monitor user activity online. Reputable VPN providers may nonetheless have to abide by court orders as legal inquiries despite the fact that they have typically have privacy policies. Let's examine these collaborations between law enforcement and VPN providers in more detail as well as how to manage the delicate line between maintaining user privacy and assisting with legal requirements. There is still a lot of information in the metadata, including the sender and recipient of the message, even though encrypted messages protect the actual content. Come learn how examining this metadata might reveal information about people's communication patterns and help us identify suspicious activity even in cases where the content is password protected. Now let's explore the realm of sophisticated network forensics. Even when users attempt to conceal their activities behind VPNs or IP rotators, experts employ advanced tools to monitor online activity. We will look at how they decipher network traffic patterns, compile information from many sources, and reconstruct the timeline to find out what's actually happening online. It's similar to deciphering a mystery only using facts rather than hints. Join us as we unravel the complexities of IP spoofing where individuals intentionally manipulate the source IP address in their network packet to hide their identity or location. This tactic makes tracing their internet activity particularly challenging as the true origin of traffic is obscured. We'll explore the hurdles posed by IP spoofing, complicating traditional tracing methods and intensifying the effort to uncover online activities. In spite of IP spoofing difficulties, online activity can still be tracked. Packet analysis can find anomalies or recurring trends by closely examining the characteristics and content of network packets. Traffic correlation link patterns of traffic from different locations that might find connections and possible sources. Cooperation with ISPs can gain pertinent information and insights facilitated by collaborating with internet service providers. Forensic analysis applies forensic technique like what has happened and how that can identify the source of suspicious activity. Pattern analysis and behavior profiling are created and anomalies are found by looking at user behaviors and communication patterns. Come learn how important it is to use sophisticated packet analysis tools to find spoofing IP addresses. These tools carefully inspect network packets looking for anomalies. We will explore their analysis of packet headers, look for unusual behavior in packets, and compare packet metadata to established patterns of acceptable traffic. We will be able to reveal the mysteries concealed behind fake IP addresses using this procedure. We look into how correlation analysis using data from many sources, including intrusion detection systems and network logs, can help analysts find vindications of IP spoofing. We will look at how unexpected increases in traffic from several sources directed to the same IP address, as the destination may be a sign of well-planned spoofing attempt. This demonstrates how well data correlation works to expose dishonest network activity. In order to trace spoofing IP traffic back to its source, 
like cooperation between law enforcement agencies, network security experts, and internet service providers works are crucial because they have access to traffic data and network infrastructures. ISPs are vital in identifying the source of questionable traffic. In the end, their partnership will guarantee a safer online environment for all by exploring how dishonest activities might be exposed. We will explore the field of forensic analysis where professionals painstakingly examine digital data and network records to piece together the timeline of events. Through this procedure, we will examine how these professionals identify the attacker behind IP swooping assaults. Explore the complex field of forensic analysis and learn how crucial it is to apprehend cyber criminals. Do you know how important forensic analysis help for legal proceedings? To recreate timelines, specialists carefully examine digital evidences such as network and system logs. We will see how these specialists identify the culprit behind IP spoofing assaults through this procedure. Let us know how generating baseline profiles of typical network activity and examining behavior patterns are crucial for spotting anomalies. We will examine how behavior analysis methods and machine learning algorithms are essential for detecting questionable activity by spotting departures from typical behavior. Through this investigation, we will learn how these cutting edge techniques can identify the unmistakable symptoms of IP spoofing improving network security in the face of constantly changing threats. Although attempting to evade IPDR monitoring is not a good idea, especially if you are doing it for the right reason, let's discuss some strategies that people have used in an effort to share knowledge. These consist of utilizing virtual private networks, accessing the Tor network, utilizing proxy servers and altering MAC addresses. Did we mention the methods people use to evade IPDR tracking? Well, at least we now know that they are fallible. Still, some of them are able to leave behind hints. Here's how the individuals in charge of those tracking technologies might realize this and respond to users who attempt to evade traffic. Proxy servers sometimes notice funny patterns in the traffic that could mean someone's using proxy server. So, they might lock access to those servers or keep a close watch on the traffic to see if anything seems fishy. Even though Tor Network tries to keep things secret, there are ways to spot its special traffic patterns. So, those tracking systems might pick up on those patterns and start digging deeper. They might try to block connections to Tor or keep an eye out for signs that someone's using it. Virtual private networks and proxy servers are making certain suspicious traffic patterns. So, these systems might know those patterns and take action like blocking VPN connections or watching VPN usage closely. Changing MAC addresses might, might speak sneaky, but sometimes there are other ways to figure out who is who. So, those tracking systems might use some tricks to see if MAC addresses have been messed with or keep an eye out for any weird stuff happening on the network. So basically, while these tricks might give a bit of privacy, they are not foolproof. There are always a chance someone might get caught. It's important to know the risk and remember that those tracking systems are always trying to stay ahead and catch anyone trying to dodge tracking. Thor's multi-node routing helps to offer anonymity, but it's not totally untraceable. By examining traffic patterns and connecting to Tor entry and exit nodes, network administrators can still identify instances of Tor usage. Come investigate how some IPDR systems detect traffic coming from Tor nodes using a list of Tor exit nodes. This aids network administrators in tracking and analyzing Tor usage. Similarly, network traffic monitoring is frequently used to detect VPN usage. Administrators have the ability to search for VPN server connections as well as analyze traffic patterns and protocols linked to VPNs. Come explore with us how some IPDR systems keep track of own VPN server IP addresses and mark traffic coming from these sources for additional scrutiny. We will also examine how packet headers and payload attributes can be examined by deep packed inspection techniques to reveal VPN traffic. This clarifies the procedures for identifying VPN use on networks.
monitoring network logs and device configurations for changes in MAC addresses are frequent way to evade tracking, which will allow network administrators to keep a careful check on the situation. Do you know how unauthorized changes to MAC addresses are detected by intrusion detection and prevention systems and network access control systems? These systems immediately raise a red signal for more inquiry if they notice something suspicious. Thank you very much. Until we meet again, please feel free to ask any other questions in the comment section.